last video I was a bit I was hurrying in the last 30 seconds because I think the memory was going um, I was meant to say at 9 minutes 20 seconds uh, not gang stalking in the 90s I just meant stalking itself in the 90s because there's a difference between stalking and gang stalking stalking is done by one person which most of the time happened in the 90s even there even though there was a few gang stalking incidents but most of the gang stalking is now happening in um after the 2000 2000 yeah with the other films airplane 2 and arlington road airplane 2 is a uh, is a really it's a comedy film but but uh, it continues, I think, from the first one. I can't remember what the first one is about, but there's a guy uh, <clears throat> from the sequel who's in a mental asylum. He escapes because he knows the truth. He knows something, a plot that's going on. Uh, he knows that there's a bomb going to be set off maybe in a plane. Uh, and at the same time, this was like before the 9-11. It's back in the 80s. This is the real trap because <clears throat> because he's from the mental asylum. So he, everyone's going to think he's crazy and uh, he's rushing around, running around, telling everyone, look, there's a plot, something's happening, there's a bomb, but everyone's looking at him as crazy. Now, with the psychological aspect is anyone who's <clears throat> concerned or bothered about something, a plot or anything is considered emotionally not stable or emotionally unstable. With the, you see, with the... <clears throat> people who commit crimes is that they can do it in a calm fashion you know they can put a bomb there and and that's it leave it and be very calm with it be very cool and pretend like nothing happened the next day and they will be classed as emotionally sane but criminally insane because uh, the physical aspect is the police can handle it because it's a physical thing that's happened but with a psychological it's you know it's it's silly because it's in some of some of the some of the met some of the techniques of psychology is, is is if you're calm you know you're cool about something you're psychologically sane but uh, but then there again a crim a criminal can like you know some people in the government they can kill someone and then the next day they can not think about it but they can do it in a calm fashion so that means they're psychologically sane they're actually normal in emotion and feeling but criminally insane because they've just done a physical crime and yeah i just trying to put my head around that and and this is another trap because in airplane two i've just drawn like a small diagram here um i'm just trying to like that i'm just on a rough diagram let's let's say that's the victim and the blue circles are the people and you got the perpetrator there and the victim is rushing rushing around telling all these people look there's a plot going on there's some something's happening there's a plot going on and he's trying to um uh let, let me just draw more here and to um tell 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 that's the He's trying to tell that you know the perpetrator is here right here and he's plan planning something but because he's so emotionally stable you know he's so like wound up with like loads of emotions and craziness so he's gonna look mental he's gonna look mentally like crazy uh, you know and and in, in the airplane movie you know people are like suspecting oh like the victims on the play you know like well, he's classed as mental vic mental person always on the plane, so they're thinking, oh, have a terrible feeling about this. But he's actually the hero who's trying to um, who's trying to um, uh, save everyone. Um, he's panicking because he's concerned and he wants to save everyone. But the perpetrator, his mind is like, his mind is like cool, but he does he does the crimes. He does the crimes. You know, he's gonna make the big big crimes but he's emotionally cool so he's not he's mentally stable he's mentally stable because he's con you know he's not panicking he's not worrying so that makes him sane but but criminally insane because he's gonna commit a crime and and this is the trap because the victim who's concerned it looks like the terror suspect because he's panicking and this is another trap because 
because the ones who are concerned about problems and who's concerned, uh, their, their predictions from a psychiatrist, anyone who's concerned, anyone who's panicky, their prediction, the predictions from the psychiatrist are that anyone who's panicky or concerned or is paranoia is led to terror or is led to harm someone or harm themselves. Now, that is a big trap of the victim becoming the terrorist himself when it's all false, it's all human error, it's all error in information and how it's run and it's, 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 the, it's the trap of trapping the innocent person. <clears throat> I mean, psychologically, you cannot prove anything. You cannot prove if, let's say, if someone gives you a look, you cannot prove that unless you've got a camera, but you cannot prove that written down to someone. You cannot prove uh, if someone says to you like they believe in God, you cannot prove that. You cannot, you cannot prove someone, like, let's say, likes you because they might hate you behind your back, but you cannot prove that. You cannot prove emotion and feeling, you know, and, and that can be linked to paranoia. But you can prove something physical. But when crimes are committed physical, they can be proven. But because the police system is all corrupt, so they can, <clears throat> they can, or the police is on the criminal side, they can cover up that. So it's hard to prove. But the psychological, uh, psychological is never covered because it's already covered in itself because you can never prove psychological emotion you can never prove it you can't prove that someone made a fierce look at you unless you've got a camera you know you can't you know it's really weird <clears throat> so that's in airplane two but then there's another one which is a big trap which is i think the movie is called arlington road i can't remember it. it's with tim robbins and jeff bridges where tim robbins is the terrorist who, who's a neighbor <clears throat> living you know, undercover as a normal person and uh, Jeff Bridges is the victim. <clears throat> and uh, it's the same thing in there. <clears throat> and he, he has a... Um, he, that the neighbours are up to something, that there's a plot going on. And, you know, and people think uh, that, that the victim is paranoid in there. And that the neighbours are great, they're okay, they're cool. And uh, it just shows that the real terrorists have are psychologically sane, they're psychologically calm and cool, you know, uh, you know, but, and then they do the physical insane crim criminal activities, which are covered up, <clears throat> and, but then the victims are always left insane because they're emotionally out of balance, that's only because they're concerned that they know of the terror suspect, which all reflects back to them. So in, 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 in Arlington Road, he gets so wor he 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 knows where he knows where the victim knows where the bomb's going to be planted. So he's panicking. He's telling everyone, and like again, he's he's like emotionally going all crazy. Uh, you know, telling everyone, telling all these people, look, this is happening. This is this is happening. Uh, <clears throat> so he's running around town mad. And when he's when he's running around, I mean, in his car, he's driving around mad in his car. So now, when you see when you see from an audience's point of view, a fast car going by going crazy he looks like the victim looks like the terror suspect and 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 and, and you know and the real perpetrator terrorists are just calmly putting a bomb in in a van calmly like you know calmly delivering things calmly but it's all because it's hidden in boxes and this and that then right at the end it's, it's a whole big trap because because when when he <clears throat> when he gets the terror suspect like alone in in, in a house, like he finds him in, in the building alone and he's, you know, he's beating him to a pulp because he wants to stop him. But then they, they sneak in the victim's car, they sneak the bomb. But we don't know that until the end, until the end. So, he, you know, the terror suspect doesn't matter, doesn't care if he's getting beat up. That's because he knows that they're going to set him up either way. And then in the, in the end, um, he rushes in, 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 in the car parking lot of the police or FBI and, and you know uncovers the van but there's nothing in it there's nothing in it and then everyone's saying everyone is officially there but apart from him to make him look like the terror suspect and then he realizes if he's not officially there and everyone is that means he's a criminal so then he has a funny feeling that the bomb's in his car then only when he opens the car he finds the bomb and it all goes bang and then he's framed on the news saying that um saying that he's the terrorist suspect he's been living a normal life all all along but then the real you know terrorist suspect who's 
who's uh, still living as the neighbor is still there calm emotionally sane you know no no triggers uh, to to tell him is you know terror apart from the victim knowing uh, also also early on in the movie um the victim because he knows that the neighbor's a terror suspect so he wants to report it but in doing so his uh, his own son gets kidnapped but it's in a psychological way they send the neighbors send him out on a trip and they ne never let him see his parent again they tell him false lies like his parents probably away or something the kid falls for it so his kid gets kidnapped uh, his home gets bugged um, uh, i think uh, no he doesn't get bugged but i think they there's a guy outside on the meter um tap uh, like giving him signs like looking at him cutting like in fiddling with the wires at the electric point to show that he's uh, being um uh hacked into into his phone calls so that if he tells anyone you know they can hear and he's been threatened and that happened the same to me i found, I found someone at the electric point looking looking at me strangely funnily then i found out next day um my phones have been hacked because i was getting a lot of street theater of what I said on my phone or what I did on my laptop, I, I got street theatre and, and they knew exactly what I was talking about on phone and um, it's things what I was searching for, but they weren't common things, they were very rare things, sometimes common things and they were replayed every time, every day, so I, I knew that there was something was up to something. I mean, uh, there's another story is Michael Jackson's sister got tapped and, and he got tapped himself, there's a video and you know Trump's phones got tapped. Tap, Trump's phones got tapped by Obama. I mean, it, it you know it says it all there. I mean, people say, oh, the actors, oh, he's a president, but, but you know, but yeah, the presidents, but you know, they don't, they don't have a, they, you know, they, they don't have a gun to uh, harm anyone. But you know, they just push buttons. Who, who you know, of where people who who to go. You know, they push a button. You know, it's it's not like they give orders. You know. Uh, you know it's it's you know it's funny and it, yeah they're actors but they're, they're, they're normal people sorry i mean michael jackson's not an actor he's he's a you know he's um an artist but then you know the normal people in their normal lives it doesn't mean they're anything more yes they specialize in something but it doesn't it doesn't mean they're more you know you could be a you know great mathematician and you're being hacked but if someone could say oh he's a mathematician things are going to happen yeah but it doesn't mean that you're just a mathematician it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean like you know like you're a famous leader that you're going to get attacked it, it's just a talent you know you could be a talented um painter but it doesn't mean um that that there's a reason why they should hack you when it when it is not normal it's not normal at all <clears throat> you know i think the name is arlington road of the last film i mentioned and uh, yeah he gets he gets hacked into and um, the victim is left the terror suspect uh, because he's emotionally embarrassed, emotionally imbalanced, and usually <clears throat> the prediction, the prediction from the psychiatry is that anyone emotionally imbalanced is predicted to do harm to themselves or to others, which makes them a terror suspect, which is the trap in itself, which is the real trap, and 